So there's no real cure for sleep apnea. Just like with many other medical problems, once you have sleep apnea, you, you have sleep apnea for the rest of your life. Many times, a person with sleep apnea can control their sleep apnea with weight loss, a good diet, exercise, avoiding sedation, avoiding tobacco or cigarettes, but they still have sleep apnea. And so then if they gain their weight back, their symptoms are gonna come back, the obstructions are gonna happen. There is a genetic predisposition to obstructive sleep apnea. It tends to run in families, although whether that's related to an actual genetic condition or if it's you know, common habits within a family is not entirely clear. It's probably a little of both. It is more likely in people uh, who are older. So as we age, our tendency to develop obstructive sleep apnea and to have worsening of our underlying obstructive sleep apnea increases. Uh, however, obstructive sleep apnea can happen in any age, uh, all the way from toddlers uh, up to 100-year-old people. In children, the treatment is a little different in that sometimes surgical options like a tonsillectomy or, or uh, adenoidectomy can be beneficial, and uh, th that's kind of the first step you take with, with children. But once someone is a teenager or beyond, then typically we would recommend CPAP therapy for them as well. Uh, it can happen at any age, though as we age, it becomes more likely. It also becomes much more likely if you're male. Uh, it's more likely if you are postmenopausal as a woman. So there is some hormonal element to that, although it's still more likely in men than in women at any age.